everybody, it's Nyala. Today I'm going to show you how I bleach my own hair at home. This is for doing small sections of your hair. Not when you want to do your entire head of hair, because when you want to do all that, you just go to the salon for that, okay? First off, what I do is I take a shower, shampoo and condition like normal, except I rinse out all of it. Make sure you rinse out every bit of hair product from your hair. And then when you get out of the shower, don't put any products in your hair. Don't put any gel, don't put any other hair lotions, don't put anything in your hair. First thing that you're gonna need is de-dusted extra strength powder lightener. I use BW2 by Clairol. You need one ounce of this powder. Now you need the liquid. Uh, this is Cream Developer 30 Volume is the, what's it called? Maybe, I don't even know what the numbers really, uh, stand for. Ooh. You need 30 volume cream developer for when you're doing this stuff by yourself at home. And my hair is still halfway damp right now so I'm gonna let it air dry for about 45 more minutes maybe and um, then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what to do. So here's everything else that you're gonna need to be able to bleach your hair by yourself at home. You're gonna need some aluminum foil to wrap over your hair when you finally put the solution on it. Disposable gloves so that you don't get the products on your hand when you mix it. You're gonna need a hair tie or a few, a glass jar or a glass bowl. You also need an old toothbrush or a new toothbrush. You can buy them for cheap in like a dollar store. As you can see, I actually have it labeled as hair bleach. I keep this jar for when I'm gonna bleach my hair and I keep this toothbrush for just strictly hair bleaching. Okay, so first you're gonna put on your gloves, of course, and what you're gonna do is open up the jar, cut an opening in the top of the packet of lightning powder, and just put it into the glass jar. We have one ounce of that powder in our jar. And for every ounce of lightning powder that you use, you have to use 1.5 ounces of this cream developer. This bottle, though, is 4 ounces. Just to approximate how much would be 1.5 ounces, I'm basically just going to pour in a little less than half of the bottle. Because half of the bottle would be 2 ounces, so I'm going to do a little less than 2 because you need 1.5 ounces. So I'm going to close it for now, get my toothbrush, and just stir this up a little bit. Just make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room, because once again you're working with chemicals that you shouldn't be inhaling directly. So you mix it really good for about a minute and a half. And this is what it should look like. It should come out like this thick foam type of consistency. Okay, so before I put any of that mix onto any part of my hair, um, what I'm going to do is take my aluminum foil and actually cut some strips out so I can have them set up beforehand so that once you put that mix onto pieces of your hair, you can just pick up a piece of aluminum foil that you've already cut and wrap it and squeeze it onto your hair. All right, so the first example that I'm gonna give you is um, I have this whole section in the front over here of pieces of hair that are already basically blonde. And so I'm not gonna be putting any of the solution onto this part that's already blonde because I don't need it to be any lighter than this. All I'm gonna do is put it on this dark root area so that it can all blend into a big, like, you know, one long big piece a wand. <laughs> so what you're going to do is hold forward everything like this and literally just take this foam stuff and just put it onto your hair. And so I initially apply it with the toothbrush but then once it's on your hair generally you can smash it down a little bit more with your fingers.
So after you've basically spread the mix as evenly as you can on the section of hair, what you're going to do is take, take your aluminum foil and literally just wrap it on the piece of hair. Just like lay it flat and squeeze it. You're gonna look like a crazy person for a little bit now. The black dark root section of my hair is gonna be sitting with this stuff on it for around a half hour and then half hour later you're gonna come back and check it. Now you obviously have quite an amount of this stuff um, in your jar to use so you can actually do a few other pieces of your hair. So, you can see how crazy and weird all of this looks. I unwrapped the aluminum foil from this main big chunk that I did in the front for you guys. So that you can see, now this hair was black when I first started making the video, now it's blonde. So I've waited around 35 minutes, and I wouldn't ever keep this on if I were you. I wouldn't keep it on for more than 40 or 45 minutes. These other pieces still need more time to actually turn blonde, but this piece should at least be rinsed out with water. Just to make sure that my hair isn't messed up for life. 